Okay, this is the fifth and climactic installment of the end-to-end -end machine learning course 112, Getting Ready to Learn Python Windows Edition. Here's where we're going to put it all together. In the first video, we looked at files and directories with Windows Explorer. In the second video, we looked at navigating through directories in the at the command prompt. In the third video, we looked at how to create and edit text files. And in the fourth video, we looked at making sure Python was installed on your machine, and if it was not, getting it that way. Now we have all the pieces we need to put it together. So as you prepare to write your first Python program, it will be really helpful to create a command prompt window. I really like this layout of having a command prompt window taking up about half the screen sitting off to the right. Also, you can open up your text editor, your WordPad window. I like to have this taking up the other half of the screen, sitting off to the left. Now, we can use the print function that we saw in our last video to type a really simple program. Print, parentheses, quote, hello world, quote, parentheses. Then we save this. We'll put it in our directory with several files in it. And this is important. Save it as something that we'll be able to recognize. Hello.py. We can change directories down to our documents and directory with several files in it. We can look and see, sure enough, hello.py is sitting there. It has a whole 20 bytes one byte per character in the file. And I'll just resize the window so that with our long directory name, we can still see the command that we're typing. Now to run this, we type Python and the name of our Python file, hello.py. This runs the program Python, which starts up a Python interpreter, which starts its waiting for some instructions written in Python to tell it what to do then it goes to this file, hello.py, and just starts reading what it has to say. In this case, when we run it, it reads that first instruction, in this case, the only instruction, which is print hello world. And it does exactly that. It takes what's within those parentheses, which is the string hello world. The quotes tell Python that this is a string, so just to treat these characters as characters and don't try to make them into commands. And to take that, hello world statement and print it onto the screen. And that's exactly what it does. So this is a full closed circle, creating, writing a Python file, saving it, running it, getting the results. Congratulations, that is huge. This is a big important first step. Now, once you've written a program, if you wanna make any changes or improvements to it, you just go back to that text file Make whatever changes you want, save it, and then go back to your command prompt and run it again with the same command, python hello.py, and it'll go back to that same file and read through now the new set of instructions and do what it says. So we'll go back, add some exclamation points, add some waving, because that's how excited we are, because that's how cool this is. When we run it, it does exactly what we tell it to. Congratulations, you've written and run your first Python program. You're ready now to go to any number of good online Python courses or in-person Python courses to be able to understand the concepts, learn this language that is Python, learn what instructions you can give to the interpreter and what really cool things you can do with it. I wish you lots of luck as you go and start building. Have a great time.